This is a Barbie Jeep we picked up at a garage sale. It was $20 used. Came with the battery, the charger, and the manual. And we got it for my niece. She has spina bifida, so she has problems with her legs working as well as other kids. But, so this thing's going to be modified for her use. And uh, one of the first things we're going to do is put this uh, switch onto the back of it. There are going to be sometimes we don't want her to move. Uh, so we're going to put this switch on to kill the battery so that it uh, won't move even if she pushes the buttons inside to make it go. So we're going to put this on the back. Probably right back here in the back. And we're going to put it uh, probably back here. And we're going to put it there. So you, And it's a big paddle one so you can... Hit it with your foot while you're standing there, and then turn it back on if you want as well. So anyway, I'll show you how to do that. So this is the bottom of the Jeep, and right here is the connection that comes from the battery. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this black wire, and we're going to splice it, and we're going to run a connection back here. We'll try to use some of these same uh, wire holders, run it back here, and then we're going to run it back to uh, where we want to put the switch. So the first thing we need to do is decide where we want the hole. And I'm going to put, put it right through here. This is where I'm going to put it. Look, check make sure nothing behind it. Nope. So I'll go ahead and I'll just drill this hole. And you want to drill the hole big enough that the uh, switch can fit through it. There's the hole. So we'll go brush some of that off. And we'll see if this switch will fit through it. Here's the switch. Actually, let's see if it fits through. Nope, doesn't even fit through. I need a bigger hole. So, with the hole the right size, the uh, piece comes through like this, and it you and all the switches you buy will come with a little washer. You have to take it off and to uh, put it put the uh, switch through. This goes on and screws back on around this. Yeah, you want to you want to try to get it lined up the direction you want. On will be. The, well, there you go. Sorry. There. You get it kind of lined up like this. So, now the switch is in place. It'll switch off. Switch on. Actually, that's on. Off, on, off. So, now the next point, the next thing to do is to run these wires. Now, when you start running these wires, you don't want to get wire that's too small. So, usually you can look on the wire and you'll see something about how big the wire is and in terms of gauges. And these wires are 18 gauge, so you want to get something that's 18 gauge or a smaller number, which means a larger size of gauge of wire. So I got some 16 gauge black wire that I'm going to splice the incoming uh, black power wire here, and then run it through these. And then I'm going to uh, solder it onto the switch, and I'm also going to solder it up onto the wire in the front because I don't want to have this come apart and have to fix it again later. So I'm going to solder all the connections. So here you can see I've cut this black wire. Black wire comes from the battery and goes back here to this little plastic uh, adapter. But I went ahead and I cut it and I spliced off uh, a little bit of the wire. And uh, what you want to do to make it a little bit more professional is get some heat shrink tube like this. And you want to uh, just cut off a little piece that will cover up the uh, solder joint that you make. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and take this these two pieces of stripped wire here and splice them together. And this one right now just goes back to my spool and I'm going to splice these together and then I'll cut it off so that it lines up to the switch. And, uh, sorry, I'm going to solder them together and then make sure they, they it reaches to the switch and then cut it off. I'll go ahead and solder it and show you what it looks like. So those wires are soldered. Some people could probably do a lot better soldering job than me. I'll so just slide this up over it and then I got a heat gun that will uh, shrink this up around it. I'll show you that. So that one's soldered, it's heat shrinked. Here's the next one. I got it um, soldered together. And what I did is I went ahead and I drilled a little hole back here, right here to run the wires through to help keep them in place so they don't just go all over. Then we don't have to, I don't have to glue anything, there it goes. I don't have to glue anything in place either. Now they can reach back here. Sorry. Now they can reach back here to the uh, switch. So they'll solder on here. And I got to get this one uh, heat shrinked and get it cut to length. The wires are heat shrinked, and I uh, ran them down. Took these screws out, ran them down 
through here, put them in. They come back here through the little hole. This is my power wire for the soldering iron. They run back here through the little hole. And then what you want to do is strip off a good amount and you're going to feed it through the uh, little hole that's on the, the switch peg coming off the switch. It doesn't matter which one you go through, but you got to get it through one of them. This one here is already through, and what you want to do is once it gets through, you, you want to solder it on. Now you can get the little paddles that'll slide on there if you want to do those instead, but hope if you're doing this for yourself, that's probably not a big deal, but if you're doing it for someone else, it's better to solder it on. That way it doesn't come loose and they call you and say, hey, what's wrong? When that's on, after it's on, you want to get another piece of heat shrink, and you want to run this down and cover up all the way down to the uh, plug like this and heat shrink it. That way nothing else will short out against it. So I'm going to go ahead and solder this one on and solder the other one on and I'll show you the heat shrink stuff. Okay, these are both soldered on now. And what I do is I go ahead and just take this shrink wrap and you got to put the shrink wrap on first or you will be pulling it off to, uh, get, it, <laughs> to get it back on later. Uh, so this just needs to slide down over top of your soldering and all the way down to the switch and then use the heat gun to shrink it on. Okay, there it's shrink, heat shrinked on. Now some people say, oh, oh, I don't need to use heat shrink. I'll just use electrical tape. <laughs> well, go ahead. When they short out, you'll be putting more on. And when the kids pull it off, you'll be putting more on. The only thing this should be used for is to uh, tie your, your uh, cords together if they, get a little, if they get a little loose. What I'm going to do now, I'll go ahead and stick this through. Again, I, had, I took it out to do the soldering. I'll put that on, and the other thing I'm going to do to help give a little strength here is I'm going to fill this in with some hot glue just to help hold these wires in place and keep them from stretching one way or the other. Okay, I got these taped together here, a little bit of tape up here to help hold them together, and I got some hot glue in here to help hold all that in place on. I did it on both sides. And this is back on, and switches. So we'll go ahead and set it to the off position and we'll try it out and see if it works. I got the uh, battery hooked back up and let's try it out. It's set to the off position and I push it on the pedal. Nothing. Come back here, I'll flip the switch, push the pedal. It's trying to get away from me. Yep, there it is. So I can put a quick uh, switch on there. It's like a master switch for your uh, special needs child's uh, Jeep. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And I'm also going to be making some more videos about this. So if you want to see those, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, some of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to pull the steering wheel off, put a bar on, and I'm also going to move the uh, pedal switch up to a finger or a thumb switch on the um, steering wheel. And another thing is going to be putting in some pipes, to um, PVC pipes to help hold the child in so they don't uh, fall out while they're driving it. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, if, like I said, any questions, if you have any questions, leave them for me. I'll try to answer them. If you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. And I might actually do them on this Jeep. Thanks for watching.